What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian with another Raid Shadow Legends video and today not the greatest day and I really, I usually don't ask in the most in the beginning of the video for you guys to leave comments but I really want to know from you guys how you guys are feeling about those last events and what's going on with Plarian, Raid Shadow Legends and also let me know if maybe I'm just out of my rockers in the way I'm looking at the game lately and some of the issues I feel it has, okay? Let me know issues you guys think the game should fix as well. All right, so let's dive into this. So, like I said, woke up today, open player and play, and the first thing I felt is I was in the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once in the world where people had the sausage fingers, right? And I was going to my prostate exam. Uh, just saying. And the reason why I did that joke was because I had to figure out a way not to get this video demonetized with the stuff I really want to say. Anywho, uh, so right now I'm actually on one of my free-to-play accounts. It's a level 48 account. And if you look in here, for example, this bracket sprees, right? Piece of cake. Look, this guy, 2100. Uh, not that easy, but doable, right? But the problem is, I still can't get Odin. And this guy may not be able to get him, okay? And that's the biggest problem, because you need a minimum of 10,000 points, okay? What it means, it would be like pulling 10 mythical champions. I mean, unless you're well at cracking, or you're really an end game, uh, end game player and you have been saving a lot of shards and you didn't go for a tour fusion because we just came from two back-to-back -back shard events. Uh, and I swear to God, they didn't even brief like one ended, the other one started, okay? You just can't do that. It's, it's, not, it's not feasible. Like, you you just be looking at that and like, oh, skip. Plus, for you to even talk about getting a decent awakening for Thor, you need to be able to get 5,500. 5,500, it would take you at least uh, 100 ancient shards. I ran, like, this account, for example, I pulled 13 shards uh, because I didn't go for Thor fusion. Plus, it's a 2x event and definitely not going for free on this account. So, that's how much I got. I saw people getting less. I saw people getting a little more. So, I'm saying, in an average, you're going to have to spend about 100 nation, right? And it's a lot. When you, when you just came from two events that you had to pull shards, and you know that in less than a week, you're going to be having deck of fate that, guess what? You're gonna need to pull shorts again. What the? Plurry, come on. I swear, it, it, I don't know, and, and I get it. Uh, there are some people may argue, well, but the game needs to make money. I get it, the game needs to make money, that's fine. But your player base of free-to-play players is about 60 to 70% of the whole community, okay? And trust me, when you have about 1 million players logging in every day, if you lose about 600,000 to 700,000 players, Krakens and Wells and low spenders will not feel like spending anything because competition gonna be gone, okay? Plain and simple, it doesn't work, all right? I get what you're trying to do, I get you're trying to push people to spend, but situations like this, even Wells and Krakens may not feel like spend because people have budgets. Yes, I know uh, Ash had a video talking about the $1 million account, but those people are 0.0001% of the player base, okay? That's insane. That's an insane amount, but that's one guy. Like, yeah, you may be able to make money in one person, but... Even if you're free to play and you feel like, hey, maybe I'm going to put a few bucks, maybe I'm going to put 20, 40, 50 bucks towards the game, you may just say, screw it. I mean, there's no incentive. 
because you're not going to get holding. You'll not be able to fight against major players. And even if you put 50 bucks, you'll not get 10,000. If you put 100 bucks, you're probably not going to get 10,000. Okay? That's the biggest problem. Honestly, you will not be able to get 10,000 just on money span unless you probably put about two, 200 to 500. Because yes, you get you may be able to get ten thousand, but you'll not be able to get first place. So, I mean, souls alone, I would probably spend two hundred, three hundred bucks on souls, and cross my fingers trying to get the sulfur tour. Okay, because also when you come down here, Jesus, stop trying to sell me stuff, Blurry. Most not today. When you look at the title event, right? This is garbage. For the amount of resources Plarian wants us to spend, 260? That's a lot for, for how much stuff you spend, okay? To get one ancient chart. All right? Uh, it's not good. Milestone 3. Also not that great. Three more, three hundred mortal souls, three hundred energy, one epic, seventy-five gems. You can use your resources to get a lot more stuff than they're giving to you, okay? And you don't even know if you're gonna get the split so. Four, yeah. Then you get oh my god, oh my god, a void short to get eight hundred points. Wow. What? One Immortal Soul Stone? You kidding? Jesus, that's amazing. Not really. Okay, and Milestone 5. Yeah, you get some good stuff, but let's look in a different light, right? For you to get Milestone 5 as a spender, you're talking about, my guess, $500, give or take, uh, being energy be on shards, be on everything, okay? That's how much you're gonna have to spend, all right? So, it's a lot of money, all right? And I get the whole gotta make money, but there are limits for that, okay? I'm just saying, I'm getting really upset. I was really saucy, not because of me, like, I'll be honest, uh, I would probably be opening shards right now if I really didn't want Freya. And part of me wants Freya for content, right? And I think she's solid. I need a shield champion like her because I don't have Valkyrie. But this being said, like... Yeah, in the end of the day, guys, play the game to have fun, all right? I'll be honest, my, a lot of my free-to-play accounts, unless they get to a certain point, actually, pretty much almost never I go for fusions because it's too much work. Uh, I stop spending on my main account, and it is a lot of work. Yes, I can, because what I can clear in the game is a lot higher. Uh, I get more resource. I, I'm able to use less energy per point, but... It still takes a lot of time. It, it, it's a commitment, right? So run two accounts would be really hard. So I usually save charts for a 2x event or something like that, or a double champion. And I'll be honest, I have some champions. They're great. And I don't have my main account because I keep saving for sometimes luck blaster, buster, you know, uh, fusions. But... I feel I ran out of fusions for so long that now I have to do. Anyway, guys, uh, just let me know what you guys think. Well, I, I don't get why. I, I kind of know, but I don't get why player is doing this. How? I don't know. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, and hopefully, I'll see you in the game.